hi there how you do welcome back to the channel my name is Rachel Agasha and on the channel we talk about everything the United States of America so if you're seeing my first for the very first time I'm Ugandan I moved to the US in August 2022 so I've been here for approximately two years I met two years on that August 6th on the 6th of August yes and uh, I'm doing this video to basically uh it's basically a look back of life since i moved from home to the usa two years ago now do i miss home every day of my life as a matter of fact i miss my siblings i miss my friends i miss my family so so much but again it's the american dream right <laughs> yeah so um in today's video i'm basically going to be should I say reminiscing or should I say taking you guys through my journey, like how it has been so far for the last two years, right? That I basically just want to share with you how my life has been. I know you didn't ask for it, but again, it's the channel we document and talk about life in the USA, right? So um I moved to I, I basically left home August, I think the sixth, yes but i got here i think on the 7th or the 8th it was a really long journey for starters my my flight was long you guys home is very far <laughs> as uganda we are really really very far from the usa i think it's twelve thousand miles away something like that yeah and um it's far so my journey was not bad um i had a stopover in amsterdam and uh i think at the ski for airport yeah and then got my next flight to Boston. I got off at the Logan Airport. Here I'm saying I got off as if it was some taxi and everything. Yeah, so then I had to get a domestic flight from Boston to Virginia. So my first home was Virginia. My host came to pick me up. It was beautiful. Got home, she had made my talker for me. <laughs> that was nice. Of course, everything was strange. Everything was beautiful this trend yeah because i will not lie this country is beautiful like it's beautiful from the beginning like airports everything the one thing that amused me so much was that 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 i'm looking for the right words like how big the airports are i remember i had to move from one terminal to another and it almost took me a whole hour to walk to this place now mind you you have luggage and all these things and you have to and you know they kept telling me oh it's that side oh it's that side because i started to connect with my 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 domestic flight and i kept getting lost because again what do i know i just thank god that i had flown before because i think that would be a whole other challenge if i had not uh flown before so yeah my host was really nice i had a whole beautiful room to myself i was happy so on the 11th because i know i got my job three days after i got here i got my first job i did my first job and uh it was nothing that i thought i would be doing but another thing that this country will teach you is humility so now uh for those of you who do not know I lived with my mom for most of my life and uh, I basically say so you see how you finish campus uni and you 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 do those with small jobs and you get your little apartment or kazigo or whatever and you start your life you know I had not had that experience here because as soon as I graduated I then had to move so I moved to this country I am basically a child because this is me trying to learn how to deal with life um, no one ever give you class no one ever gives you classes or lessons on what it is to expect or what it is that you're supposed to do so i had to learn everything from ground zero ground ground zero the one thing i knew for sure was humility was going to take me places it has for so many things um it has been humility and god yeah because i know I, on my own i cannot so i've had to trust god for most of everything because i do not know how i could have been here at this point in time so fast forward i remember getting my first 120 dollars and i was so excited 
yeah i remember sending i i laid my money on my bed and uh and sending a picture to my mom like oh it's my first salary meanwhile i didn't have a bank account did i yeah i think i did but then they paid me in cash so i had my money on me and it was nice and i had promised myself i'm going to give my first money i had to give to god the first fruit and the tithe you know the christians will understand it's a thing that we do to protect our money and preserve it because you know when you give god what is his then he he has a way of taking care of you and i will not lie to you he has taken care of me the moments when i have really been pushed to the wall and he has come through for me in amazing ways and i do not take that for granted so uh life kept going on um so my auntie used to take me to meet all those different people mind you i just finished my bachelor's degree in law and um i didn't know the first thing of what to do you know they'll tell you oh when you get here please do school or that that i did not know where to start one thing i knew for sure is i just wanted to work i just wanted to have some money on me i just knew i had things to do back home i had a list of things that i wanted to do as africans that is what we do and i know people will be like oh no you're supposed to first develop yourself then be chibi chibi blah 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 all that stuff which is good stuff but you know your relationship with your family honesty honestly and if you you want to do things a certain way no problem but for me i have promised myself that i'll not be those people who need to all have injury you know i was like i'm going to wait for my money to accumulate and then i'll do this and i'll do that because guess what that money never accumulates yeah was like it's okay to have plans it's okay to do all those things but for me my mother my siblings and those guys are the love of my life yeah so when it comes to them i'll go over and above right i have a very small family and i love them to death <laughs> so when i am happy they are happy so that means when they are happy i am happy too there's no moment when there's going to be a need and i know i can come through and i will know just because i'm keeping my money for whatever so um of course i had plans um uh, as honestly praying for bare minimum at the moment for, for basics yeah for starters i was living in someone's house and i needed to find a place of my own um uh transport was hard i had to move to those places to work and all those things so i needed a car and i just told god you know what this is everything that i need so may your will be done so what i i thank my auntie for so many things uh she had she she helped me she helped me figure out so many things and that is why i always say the host whoever it is that you're living with will either make you or break you and um if there's a way you can interact with other people please do because everyone has something to share that will help your life one way or another yeah now not to be here complaining about the things that didn't go right but rather i'll talk about everything that went well everything that was right because if you start to look at all the negative things honestly it gets overwhelming <laughs> so yeah i was able to buy my first car for those of you who have been following me you know i bought um, my first car and then they told me it was a piece of junk so i had to get another car fast forward um january january uh february actually february 2023 i had to leave my host's house i had found a house in uh, maryland so i initially lived in virginia so i'm found a nice basement in 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 maryland and it was time for me to move so now i was going to be a whole um, i don't want to say homeowner but i had a whole a whole place to myself of so back home there's that whole it's it's not curfew i didn't have curfew i didn't have my mom running around or telling me oh Rachel, you have to be home by this time because i knew for me i grew up the, I, I grew up with this whole you know of like no one is going to be running after you to tell you what to do we knew what it is that we had to do so i knew that if i would be out with my friends i think the latest i have been out was around like 11 and then all my mom would require for me to do is call her and let her know hey you know what i'll be back a bit late um and that was it 
yeah but me in my head i always knew by like 8 p.m please be home <laughs> so i would be like with my friends and we're out and then it would be 6 p.m and i'm like oh my god i need to start getting ready to leave and then that other small voice would be like oh no now you know you have a play you're, you're the boss of yourself you're not answerable to anyone you can go back home whenever i'm like okay that's nice but still you have to go home and i loved that experience i loved uh that i would decide what i wanted to eat i would decide what i want my house to look like what i wanted for myself and i loved that so yeah i was in that house for for i think six seven months yeah so the basement was good but it had issues i must say so um when one of those times when i had met my friend my, my auntie's friends they had introduced me to a lawyer so i talked to this guy and he was really nice and uh he offered me a job so i was doing the legal assistant job and uh yeah so i had two jobs for a while then of course when i left my auntie's place i left the first job because my auntie had offered me my first job and then I moved on and I had this one job, but it was not enough. The money that I was earning from this job was not enough to sustain me as an independent person. So then I went back to the streets to look for another job. And uh, because we serve a living God and we went to school, <laughs> I applied for this other job. And uh, a friend of mine recommended because they sent me a link. It's like, oh, Rachel, you know, you could actually do this job and be good at it. I'm like, okay, cool. So I applied for this job. I got this job. It's amazing. It's the job that I do currently because um, later the basement was not, I would say it was good, but it had issues. You guys, major issues. There's, you know how things keep triggering you and triggering you until there's this one thing that just makes life so it just makes things so bad and you wake up and you're like you know what i've had enough and i'm like this is it this is it so i walked through my neighborhood and i found this there's this beautiful apartment that we used to pass by every time they could go to like a, a store giant to buy stuff so i was like you know what because i was looking for different places and i was like getting their contacts and reaching out so I reached out to these guys and they're like, oh, you can come in for a house tour, blah, 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 blah. So I go for the tour, I see the place, I love it. Because I'd, I'd, I'd set out a budget. It's like, you know, I don't want a place that is more than this amount. And this place fits so well in my budget. August came and I moved in. And that is where I am. So fast forward to 2024, uh, I left one of my jobs. And I'm currently doing one job. And you see, when I left that job, I was so anxious. I felt like my life was coming to a stop. Of like, yo, what do you mean? You know, because these guys just like ended the contract, you know, and um, like you don't have time to prepare. And you have expenses and you have bills and the anxiety. I was like, okay, now what do I do? I need to start looking for new jobs. But I have come to, of course, I had to make major changes uh, on my life. Uh, of course, because the income, the flow of income was now cut. Things were not as they used to be. But I had to make major changes, which eventually helped me manage. Uh, I can say I'm really managing well. But I have learned a few things from the situations that I would really want to share. Now, we wake up every morning. Oh, I have to do this. I have to do that. I have to do that. There's a friend of mine that I've been talking to and uh, he's big on Rachel Leaf in the moment. Imagine, because, you know, when we think about the past, the things that we've been through in the past, we easily get depressed. And then when we think about the future and you're obsessing and you do not have things figured out, then you get anxious. But when you live in the moment of like, you know what, I'm certain about this. This is everything that I need right now. And that's it. And I have not been given better advice or I have not had anything that has made so much sense than that. Because why are we, you know, it's okay to have things planned out and to want to live a certain way. And for some reasons, I was really glad that I didn't, I was not fixated on, oh, I have to be rich. Oh, I have to do this. Oh, I want to be rich. I really do. 
<laughs> but for me i just want to be comfortable i want to be able to do something that i want i want to go for a vacation and not worry about breaking the bank i want to go i want to live a life that is happy and comfortable I don't know if that makes sense to you but i'm at a point where i'm so comfortable like i have everything that i need uh i can watch a, a netflix show if i wanted to i can go to a place if i wanted to and for me i think that is everything that i could ask for of like if i have that figured out like i know where my next meal is going to come from honestly it's all vanity like at the end of the day you look at everything and you're like okay so i'm going to die and then every day that I woke up uncomfortable, every day that I woke up stressed, every day that I woke up depressed, when I could have focused on what I had to do in the moment and enjoyed that moment. Now for me, my way of doing that is, is my family happy? Am I happy? For me, that is everything that i could ever ask for and it is everything that is happening for me and i am enjoying every moment of it because there's so much that we could want to be uh there's so much that we could want to go for us a certain way but things don't always go how we want them to go because it's life i mean god and the universe and everything will just do what it wants to do with your life you you need to just sit back and enjoy the ride and that is what i have been doing that is what i'm doing so i have not been before the camera in a long time i think the last time i made a, a video was in may <laughs> yeah i think the last time i sat down on this couch to make a video was in may and uh i have been i've had i've been going through things and feelings and everything and making major decisions and being stressed and depressed and having all these episodes and i'm like hey but there's so much to be grateful for because I promise you there are things that will not sit here and share with you on camera. But it's a lot. And if we sat back and looked upon those things and there's so much to be grateful for. And I know you too have things to be grateful for. Yeah. Like as much as we want all these things figured out, I think we should let go of things that we do not have control over and just enjoy the things that we are currently seeing, you know. As we pray and hope that the future holds nothing but the best for us. So yeah, um, that was everything that I had to say. If you have any questions, I mean, I've had challenges, major challenges. I have learned so many things and I am enjoying this journey because this country is beautiful. I have not made so many friends, I'll not lie. I've had friends come and go. Uh, at some point I was thinking, am I a bad person? But I know I'm not a bad person, yeah. So yeah i hope uh you take a thing or two from this video i hope you love yourself more and i hope you enjoy and live in the moment yeah i'll see you in our next video take care and stay safe bye